Hi, I'm Blur. The effect interface has been updated. Let's take a look at the new effect interface with Blur today. What's updated? In the edit interface, filters and effects has mixed into the effects section. Into the effects interface, click the bottom button to switch. Filters are divided into 9 categories by style, click to view it. The effects interface has 10 categories. We usually use special effects under the color correction category to color the picture. Use the effects under the light effect category to perform light processing on the material. Use effects in the move or transform category to bring footage into motion. Use the effects under the distortion category to make some kind of distortion in the material. We will update the effect list from time to time. Hurry up to follow. How to add and edit effects. When the material is not selected, Click Effects, select Add Effect or Filter, same as the previous version. The system will automatically generate an effect layer above the material for you. At this time, the name of the effect layer will be named according to the effect, and this layer will affect. Click to switch. You can preview the effect style. Click again to call out the editing parameters of the special effects. After editing, click the small triangle to collapse the effects. Click the plus at the bottom right to continue adding other effects or filters to the effect layer, and the name of the effect layer will be automatically changed to multi-effect. It is recommended that can add multiple effects through one layer, which can save more layer track space. You can also select the material and click effect, and directly use the plus sign in the lower right corner to add the effect. The effect is directly added to the material, only affecting this layer, and no separate effect layer will be generated. To many effects, can't find it? Don't worry, here is a permanent magnifying glass. Click and enter the keywords that in your mind, the system will automatically recommend relevant effects for you. Find it and click to add. How to copy? Hide and delete the effects. Copy. Single effect. Tap here. Then tap copy effect. Then tap here to paste. Copy multiple effects. Click the button in the lower left corner to copy all the special effects on the panel. When you finish copying, click the button. Then you can paste in the effects interface, or you can also paste across layers. Copy the FX layer. If you want to copy all effects added in FX layer, select the layer then duplicate, then just drag it to anywhere you need the same effects. If you want to hide an effect, tap here. Shut the eye. If you are sure you want to delete, click this button, click delete, or directly swipe left to delete the effect. In the effect editing panel, when you add multiple special effects and filters, blur will render sequentially from top to bottom, drag to change its level, the rendering order will change, and the effect of the monitor may also change. Do you like the new effects panel? Welcome to give us comments. See you next time.